pieces just falling into one. And we had one experience coming back. And on the way back, we stopped in North Dakota at a gas station. We spent like hundreds of dollars on gas. And um, I told them, if you have any problems or feel any way, or how can you feel that you've been mistreated or, or misconceived in some way, tell me. So I waited in the van because I wanted them to learn because this was a learning experience for them. And so they came back and they said, they're looking at us so funny in there. They're telling us to stand by the door and go in one by one while everybody else is going in as a group or a family. I said, what? And they told us that we can't use the restroom unless that one goes, one comes out, and whatnot. And I thought, hmm, okay, what else? Well, we, we wanted to walk around, but they were looking at us like we were going to steal stuff. I said, oh my goodness. I said, okay, well, let's go then. So I went in, and I, I brought them in with me. I said, we're customers. And they didn't say anything. And it was at a grocery, the I mean, was at a gas station where they, where they sold, like, hamburgers, hot dogs, fries, and whatnot. So I said to the group, order whatever you want up there. So we ordered about $45 worth of food. And then I said, oh, well, you guys can go in the van. I said, go ahead. Oh, you need to use the restroom plus I need to go get my wallet and I'll be back. I'll be back in time to pay for this. So they went in there, came back, brought my bag into the store, and I looked around. I said, um, I don't see any signs in here. They said, what kind of signs? A sign that tells me that I have to pay for what I ordered, they said. And they just looked at me like, and I said, you know what, have a nice day. We're going to take our business somewhere else where people are going to smile and welcome us. They said, and I walked out. And the kids just like, oh my God, did you really, really do that? Are they going to call us? Are they going to call the house of us? I said, let them. What do we go for? We're not guilty of anything. We didn't steal anything. I said, we don't have no binding contract with them. But that was one of the lessons that they learned is that they, they learned how to stand up and speak up for themselves and be proud of who they are as Native Americans. They're the ones that teach. They're the ones that 
it. Just have the patience, have the love, the understanding, the commitment to be able to hold families together. And this is what happening at Old Flat. We're strengthening the message to our youth. And I'm so proud to see our youth here. Thank you.
Thank you. 